All right, for this last part of the worksheet, uh, what I've given you is I've given you data from a couple different factorial experiments. And I can't remember if your actual worksheet, I can take a look online to see if you've had these written in. The version that I had here did not have treatment and control and single dose and multiple dose in there. What I've gone through is I've labeled those. So um, what you may need to do on your worksheet is just briefly label these with treatment and control for the squares and the circles and then single dose and multiple dose for the left and the right-hand columns. My apologies if that's not on your worksheet. But the question is then, looking at each of these data, what do we make of it? How do we explain what is happening here in each of these two different conditions? So there are a variety of different descriptions over here on the right. So we have, let's take a look down, and what, I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to try to look at one for uh, response A, okay? On A, we have a main effect for treatment. We have no effect for dosage and no interaction. Okay, well, let's start with a great rule out one, which is the no interaction. We know no interactions are relatively easy to spot. It could be over here, because these lines are parallel, it could be here because these lines are parallel and that's it. And actually one of mine got <laughs> messed up down here. My Oh no, and actually it could be down here. You have another experiment where these two are parallel as well. Sorry, my conversion here got a little bit messed up. So it could be either one of those three. We have uh, parallel lines that go diagonally up. We have parallel lines that go diagonally up that are overlapping, number two. And we have parallel lines that go straight across. Okay. So all three of those have no interactions. Next, we're looking for a main effect for treatment. So what that means is, on average, our squares are going to be separate from our circles, or the average point, the midpoint of our squares, is going to be separate from our circles. So let's take a look at those three. Right here, uh, for number two, the midpoint of our squares is right here. The average between those and those is right here. Well, the midpoint of our two circles is also right there. In other words, the average of the treatment is same as the average of the control. So this can't be it. There is no main effect of treatment here. Let's take a look down here. The, here, the average of the treatments is right here. The average of the controls is right here. And here, we do see an effect of treatment. This is a possibility. It could be number three. Let's go down to this last one down here. Here, the average of the two treatments, again, I apologize that two of these overlapped here, is right here. The average of the controls is right here. So here, we also see a main effect for treatment. Our treatment is higher than the controls. So now we gotta choose between number three and what I think is number five. I can't, my apologies. Uh, so let's take a look. So now the last thing we've looked, both of these have main effect for treatment. Both of these have no interaction. Now we need to know, do either one of these have no effect for dosage? Well, how can we tell if there's a main effect for dosage? Let me erase a little bit in here so we have more to look at. And since we're dealing with this one down here, erase all this as well okay so main effect for dosage what we want to know for dosage is on average are these single doses any different from the multiple doses okay so what we want to do is take the average of the single doses and the average of the multiple doses and what we find is they are equal we don't go up at all from single dose to multiple dose so indeed here we have no effect for dosage. Just to double check our work, we'll go down here to number five. Let's take a look. The average of our two uh, single dose conditions versus the average of our multiple dose conditions. Here we look and see the average of the single dose to the average of the multiple dose does go up. So there is a main effect of dosage here. Okay, so we know for certain that number uh that number three right here is 
letter A, where there's a main effect for treatment, no effect for dosage, and no interaction. What I want you to do is to go through the rest of these and try to figure out what are we looking at here, which of these descriptions on the right best match each of those diagrams, and we'll talk about it in class.